Have you ever thought about how you get your email surf on web? Gaming in online world. Getting information from websites or watching YouTube video as like this. Let's look at our data pathway. A fiber optic cable, also known as optical fiber cable, is an assembly similar to the, an electrical cable but containing one or more optical fibers that are used to carry light. The optical fiber elements are typically individually coated with plastic layers and contained in protective tube suitable for environments where the cable will be deployed. Different types of cable are used for different applications. For example, long distance telecommunication or providing a high speed data connection between different parts of building. Before fiber optic cable, we should talk about first electronic transatlantic communication device, telegraph. A transatlantic telegraph cable is an undersea cable running under the Atlantic Ocean used for telegraph communications. The first was laid across the Flow of the Atlantic from Telegraph Fields, Foil Homerium Bay, Valentia Island in Western Ireland to Hearts Content in Eastern Newfoundland. The first transatlantic communications occurred August 16, 1858, reducing the communication time between North America and Europe from 10 days. The time it took to deliver a message by ship to a matter of minutes. Morse code is method used in telecommunication to encode text characters as standardized sequences of two different signal durations called dots and dashes. Morse code is named for Samuel Morse, an inventor of telegraph. You can write Bugralov as like this in Morse code. There are no letters but only encoded texts. You can decode text by using this chart. In old times, telegraphists were doing this job. Fortunately, technology improved over time and you don't need to do that. We can consider the dots and dashes as like 101 binary system which is used for computers and fiber optic cables. Let's say dots are 0 and dashes are 1. From this idea, you can understand the fundamentals of how information carried in fiber optic cables. Well, how submarine fiber optic cables carries data and where are the submarine cables? It is under the ocean. When we want to talk about submarine fiber optic cables, there are eight parts for this structure. Most of the parts are used for protecting optical fibers. These parts are common plastic polyethylene, mylar tape, stranded steel wires, aluminum water barrier, polycarbonate, which is used for bottle or bulletproof glass. Well, sometimes things can go wrong. Anyways, copper or aluminum tube, petroleum jelly, I mean vaseline, and finally optical fibers. The question is, why we are protecting those cables? You would say, sharks can attack. Yes, that's right. But not only for that. Because light shouldn't escape from fiber tube. If it happens, your data may corrupt. That was my little joke. Your video data didn't corrupt. No worry. Sharks attacking the cables because sharks have magnetic field senses.
which they are using for catching the prey. Well, cables have also magnetic fields. That explains why sharks attacking the cable. These worms are stale. No, they are steel. Okay, let's get back to topic. How do we get internet through fiber glass? Fiber optics work by sending data as pulses of light through a glass fiber. Simple enough, but how does this process actually work? At one end of fiber optic cable, a laser or LED transmits data as light. At the other end of the cable, there are light sensitive receptors that interpret that light as data. Think that's impressive. Wait, until you heard what happens inside the cable itself. A fiber optic core is a strand of fiberglass wrapped in protective jacket called a cladding. Light can travel through this core without being altered and therefore without its data being distorted because of property called total internal reflection. It works like this. As long as light hits glass at a shallow enough angle, the light will reflect off without losing any energy. Because of this, Light can go from one end of the core to the other without ever changing its wavelength. As I said before, Morse code works as like dots and dashes. When electric pass through the cable in short amount of time, dots appears. When it is long, dashes appears. For fiber, there is only light on and off. Light on means 1 and light off means 0 with time-based system. When you wanna send Bugrala text to your friend, don't forget to share. Fiber works as like this. But technology is so fast, that means trillions of words can be carried in one second by fiber optic cable. Single fiber cable can carry up to 255 terabytes data per second. That's enormous for sure. Well, you need to divide by eight for converting bits into bytes. That means almost 32 terabyte storage can be filled in one second. If that's fast enough, right? How we can achieve this kind of speed? Of course, technology speed is limited, but our minds are not. Scientists use different colors for fiber optic cable, different lights sent by laser and received by color sensitive receptors. So in single fiber you can add different light colors that makes things even faster. That's called dense wavelength division multiplexing. If you are wonder what is all about this technology you can search on Google. Speaking of Google, Google offers fiber speed internet connection at very cheap prices. You can connect to internet at speed of light. From where to where? I didn't see that coming. Because...